Is it here? Oh my god. Holy oh shit. I think he's dead. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> So, uh, are zombies dead or alive? Zombies are theoretically alive in that they're animated, they're thinking creatures, and yet the brain activity is such that if you were to plug them into an electrocardiogram, they'd come out as flat. Hello, I'm Michael Black. It's now been several years since the outbreak of the M1N2 virus, and the world's only just recovering from its devastating effects. At, throughout this time, I've been studying zombies, or the infected, but my research has been inconclusive. The aim of this documentary is to determine how much of the zombies' humanity remains intact and whether or not they can be considered as part of the living. Shortly after the outbreak, the armed forces managed to quarantine the country's major cities, despite the carnage seen in this amateur footage. Now the infected mostly roam in the countryside in areas dubbed wild zones. While the majority remain dangerous, a select few have been pacified through experimentation and last year saw the first infected employee in the mining industry. To begin my investigation, I've arranged a meeting with acclaimed writer Max Brooks, author of the best-selling Zombie Survival Guide. As well as being a famous killer of the infected, Max also enjoys studying them and has a network of cameras set up in the wild zone. Hello Max. Oh, Mr Black. Hello. It's very nice to meet you, sir. I've uh, got your book here. I've read oh, it. It's uh, very interesting, very informative. Well, thank you. But I'm really curious to know how you managed to get into this sort of thing, this zombie killer? Well, uh, it's quite a music story, actually. Um, everyone I know died. I see. Um, from zombies? Well, that's irrelevant, I find. But uh, I feel zombies are irrelevant. Uh, they're a fairly good cause to take out my anger. Okay. Um, so, are you going to show us what you what you do? Are you going to yes, take uh, you to the wild zone? Yes, I'm going to take you to the wild zone today. This is where the bastards live. It's a very barren landscape, very dangerous, dangerous place. But. Uh, We'll have lots of fun killing some wankers, I believe. Excellent. Uh, in my car here I've got my, uh, my Wild Zone Preparedness Kit. It's uh, got everything you need from sort of fishing rods, bone saws, there's some plasters in here just in case. And uh, there's, it's, it's a very useful... Uh, I've compiled it over the years, it's brilliant. So in your opinion, are zombies dead or alive? Well, that is a very difficult question. I would say they are dead. They are certainly morally dead and spiritually dead which are the important factors. What is the church's view on the infected? Well, the Bible says, as you sow, so shall ye reap. And this that we are experiencing at the moment, this spread of the infected, is an inevitable consequence of the evil that has been stalking the earth. So, uh, this is your hide. Yes, this is my hide, my uh, home away from home in the wild zone. It's a lovely place, don't you think? It's, uh, it's a beautiful structure. Yes, wonderful setting. Uh, so this this protects you from uh, the undead. Well, not much can protect you from the undead actually. It's uh, their senses are incredible. Did you know that uh, an undead can smell you from seven miles away? Yeah, so no quite idea. incredible. Also, their sight is unfathomed. They can see further than the yeah, bat of the Western Islands in the West. That's that's incredible. Yes, it is. What was that? I think one of my traps has been sprung. Come, Squire! So, uh, are zombies dead or alive? Uh, well, Central Police believe them to be uh, to be alive um, until proven uh, otherwise. The attitude of the police is to treat. Uh, all the infected is like any other uh, person that is uh, committing crime. Um, if they do commit crime, then they will be punished and uh, put before the courts. Ha <laughs> ha!
Ah, well, look what we have here. Fine specimen. It's one of my more distant traps. It's been a few weeks since I've uh, checked this one. I think we've called ourselves a hunter. Ah, oh, oh. That's it, fucker. So, uh, yeah, what do you think? What are you going to do with it? There's only one thing I can do, really. Sort of put it out of its misery. It's uh, maybe uncomfortable, but feel free to watch. I love it, personally. Whoa. This one's for Wendy Brooks. I love you, Mum. Oh, That's shit. clean kill there. It's oh a good one. God. How did the outbreak come about, and how do you stop it? Well, as you know, the uh, swine flu virus mutated with the uh, N1N2 strain. Um, the mutation caused the brain to act in a way that's totally unnatural. Um, too much electronic signalling in the brain, then caused the whole brain to shut down. Um, the subject theoretically dies, and then the electrical activity reanimates the brain, and hence you get our friends, the zombies. The only way to destroy a zombie, again, common knowledge, is removal of the cranium. Here we are. It's, uh, it's very unnatural to see them like this. Just don't <sighs> move. Go, go, run! Run, boy! Let's make like a banana sprint, boy! Got speed! Do you think the infected get to heaven? Almost oh, certainly not. Well, if they do, I shall leave. We've lost Max. We've lost Max. We're in a forest full of zombies. We've lost Max, the zombie hunter. Wait. Ah! Zippity doo da, eh, boys? Ah! How are we? Oh. They're dead. What? Good hunt. Ah. That's dinner for us all. Where did you go? <laughs> Nothing like a good hunt, eh? Tea?